Coming over to England, Fiji, 30 to 24. Oh, so unlucky for the Fijians, man. So I, I honestly feel for, I feel for them. They've done so, so well this World Cup. I think not just for, for rugby in Fiji, but rugby for all Tier 2 nations, showing what, with passion and love for your country and bonding of teammates can do for a team and for a country. I mean, yes, Fiji, one of them, Portugal's another one. These guys need to, these teams need to be playing better teams. They need to be playing more often, not just once or twice between each World Cup. So I feel, I, honestly, I do feel for Fiji. I do think tournament fatigue might have played a bit of a role, but man, credit, credit to them. They played really well this whole World Cup. They can go with their heads held out. I'm pretty sure there'll be a massive crowd waiting for them back in Fiji. Ooh, and bring out the Carver boys. The boys deserve their Carver. They've earned their Carver. Well done to the Fijians. So 30 to 24. Um, on the other side, I thought England played really well. They did, they, like I said in the preview, I'm scared that, that England are going to suffocate Fiji, and they did to a point. Like converting their penalties into points, Owen Farrell was kicking the ball beautifully off the tee. Ben Earl deserves to celebrate because he was a dog, a dog at the rock time in everything. Just tackles him and Atoji. Again, those another those two players are like playing with extra play out there. Oh, really, really good. They deserve their celebrations. I thought Ellis Genge was strong again. Marcus Smith brings a different dynamic at fullback. Freddie Stewart, yes, is safe as houses under the high ball. But I think what Marcus Smith offers playing that second receiver behind the forward pod. So I'm Owen Farrell. I get the ball. I've either got the forward pods there or Marcus Smith out the back. And you've got him doing his little jinx, goosies, goosies, and having Tui Lungi straighten the line of him. Whew. So that's definitely something they've looked at just to change it up a bit, bring you a different point of attack. Um, I thought England's, like I've mentioned it before, the England's forward stepped up physically. They had to for this game. Is that Fijian, Fijian boys, you know they're coming with the physicality. Um, Manu Tuilangi come around for his try. Come, I said I picked him out to be a big, to stand out for England for this game. And him coming around the corner there with a bit of engine. He was a bit of, I'm scoring here. Shush. Strong, strong ball carrier. Um. I said, like, Fiji looked a bit lost on attack at some times, very flat. Um, and you've got, then you've got, when your 10 is getting the ball, is looking up and you see a back line that everyone is standing a line, like a straight line. You've got no options. You, your, your options get depleted so much when your back line or your option, anyone outside you is, everyone is flat. There's a few times I had to throw the over the top balls. That just gives the defense time to to shift out and tackle them out. Um, when they did eventually get the ball, what they were doing good before the World Cup and in the games that they played really well during the World Cup was they building their patience on so building phases and patience in attack, building the phases, applying pressure like that, phase after phase off. That's when they get in their rhythm, and they've really, they've 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 really improved on this. And they did well with that when they did eventually get some ball and started building phases. They ended up scoring. Mata, Mata the, the big eight, went over. Little dummy, and under the post he went. Um, but at, and other times, too many times that they were lost on, on attack. Uh, I thought Bottia was, again, just a standard. I would not want to play against him. He's so strong and hard and physical and just into everything. There was a couple of fisty cuffs, a couple of how you doings. Um, love the old rough and tumble, man. That's what that's what we do. We're here to play rugby and get a bit of physical, man. Get a bit physical. Um, man, and just when you think Fiji are down and out, bang, bang, baby. Going back to the old style of running direct, straight, hard, getting the half breaks, having support players on your shoulder to get those offloads through. 
and to score some tries, man. They were it was twenty four all at a time at a time. So so close. But again, credit to England, man. They absorbed all of that. They did really well to absorb that. Martin to both centre scored, so Tui Lungi scored at a vital time. Mark, Joe Marchant scored at a vital time as well. I think Owen Farrell's little drop kick that he put over, also very important just to take them. So they were 24 all to take them to 27, 24. I think he played really well. He's very physical. I think he's worked on his tackle technique. He's getting a little bit lower, but he's very strong with the shoulder. Um, and they, they did well at the end to hold the Fijians off. I think they went a couple of 15 plus phases at a time. They were patient, not going for every rock, waiting for their turn. And when they did, they pounced on it and, and got that penalty at the end. And just tough for Fiji, man. Feel for them, feel for them. Because it was it's such a strong, that's such a strong squad that they have there. And they obviously put a lot of expectation on themselves. And uh, but they can hold their heads high. They did really well for Fiji and for themselves. They can be proud. I think for the next generation of Fijians going through, this will be the benchmark. It's it's quarterfinals or more. That's the bench, it's the benchmark now for the Fijians. And then England goes through and will play South Africa in the semi. How good's that gonna be? South Africa love playing England in the semi. Ooh. Ooh, but I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'll get to the previews, guys. Stick around, hit the subscribe, like, all of that. Let me know in the comments what you think, thought of the games, and what you're going to be thinking of the semifinals going forward. But we still got a couple of weeks left of rugby, man. How good. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.